Hi, Rose. Hope you're having a good Christmas. Merry Christmas. I hope Santa brought you all kinds of cool stuff. I know you're here and from all your ranger friends from across the country. I'm here at Great Basin, and here at Great Basin, we're famous for three things. We're famous for bristle cones that can get up to 5,000 years old. They live at the highest parts of our park. We're famous for Lehman Caves. Lehman Caves is a two and a half mile long cave system, famous for its shields. It has over 300 shields inside of it. Can you believe that? And then we're also famous for how dark our night skies get here. We can see things that no one else in the United States can see, even to the point that we have a research grade observatory on this park that scientists use to come see the, the stars all across the world. Now we're going to go and look at these three different things. We're going to go look at that telescope, we're going to go look at the, at the cave, and we're going to go look at one of these bristle cones. Merry Christmas, Rose. Wow, Rose, look at, look at this. This is a telescope. This is an observatory they use here at Great Basin National Park to do science. Scientists come here from all across the world to do science here at Great Basin National Park. They look at double star systems and exoplanets, planets that aren't even in our solar system. Inside this dome right here, there is a 27-inch telescope that can look deep, deep, deep into outer space and find all the really cool, pretty things that are out there. Hi Rose, so we're standing here at a bristle cone. This is one of the trees that we're famous for here at Great Basin National Park. Some of these trees up at the really high elevations can grow to be 5,000 years old. But this one here is just a young one. This one's only about 50 or 60 years old. Hi Rose, this is Ranger Charlie from inside Lehman Caves. You see those formations behind me? Those are the parachutes. Those are shields. We have over 300 shields inside this cave. And I'm sure you've seen some of them before, but these are some of the best in the world. Right behind me, those parachutes. Hey Rose, it's Ranger Chris, and I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas, and I got two facts for you. One, gray seals can grow up to be eight feet long and over 350 pounds, and there's something I saw very common working at Cape Cod now seashore, and also, great white sharks prey on those seals. Isn't that crazy? They're so big, and they get eaten by something even bigger, and people swim in that ocean. They're crazy. Good morning, Junior Ranger Rose. This is Ranger Chris at Haleakala National Park. Top of a mountain. In the distance is the West Maui Mountain. And that's the city of Kahului down here in the corner. You can see lighting up the valley of the island. And so it's about six in the morning. And the main thing that people do here is they come to the top of the mountain to watch the sunrise. So I'm going to be very quiet as I approach the rim of the crater and we get to see the sunrise colors. Junior Ranger Rose, we're going down the Pakawao Trail. The sun's come up a little bit. In the distance, you might hear Keikoa doing the Oli, which is a chant for the rising sun. Hello again, Junior Ranger Rose. So a little later in the morning, just after eight o'clock, and 
we're standing on the rim of the crater, which is down in the mountain. And there's a bunch of little hills down there. The Hawaiian word for them is pu'u, and pu'u in Hawaiian means hills or hill. And all those pu'u is actually where the lava would have ejected from. So a lot of people visit and they think that the crater, this whole big erosional depression here, blew off at one time in one big eruption, but that's not the case. The mountain would have actually been 3,000 to 5,000 feet taller, but the forces of wind and rain and frost and ice carved out the crater and the gaps that we have over on the left, the Ko'olau Gap and the Kaupo Gap, which is off towards the right. And the last eruption up here would have been about 800 to 1,000 years ago. And then the last eruption on the island would have been oh, 400 to 600 years ago, closer down to sea level. Pretty bright day. You can see the clouds out there in the distance. So we're up above the clouds. That's pretty cool. We're way up here. And this is the type of landscape that you have on top of the mountain. Barren lava rock with some species that like to live up here, like the Kupa'oa that we have here and some fancy plants called the silver sword, which maybe we'll take some pictures of those later on to send to you. All right, Junior Ranger Rose, checking out. Uh, we'll send another video maybe along with this one a little later, the other visitor center, and we can go see Ranger Laurel. Hello, Junior Ranger Rose. Hello, Junior Ranger Rose. It's Ranger Chris from Cave, now at Haleakala National Park. And I am with... It's Ranger Laurel. Hi, Rose. I hope you're doing well. And we are showing you some highlights of our park. So we are driving down the road, the one and only road in and out of the park. And in the distance, you can now see the vast Pacific Ocean. But as we come around the corner here, we are going to get a view of what is called West Maui Mountain in the distance there. Currently getting what we call socked in when it gets covered in clouds. Today's a very clear day at the park, so behind West Maui Mountains, you can see the island of Molokai. Uh, and then even further into the distance, you can see the island called Lanai. Yeah, right there. Yeah, it's out there. And we are coming up to the visitor center of the park, which is referred to as the headquarters visitor center, because this is our headquarters. So, coming up. Who's the most famous resident of Haleakala? Most famous resident of Haleakala National Park is probably the Nene Goose, which is the rarest goose on earth. So that's pretty cool. Um, and we do have a bat that lives maybe in the park, but it definitely lives in Maui. It is called the Ope Apea or the Hawaiian hoary bat. And it's the only native land mammal here in the Hawaiian Islands. So that's pretty cool. Anything you'd like to share, Ranger or Laurel? Well, everything that we're driving over is from a volcano. So we don't have any limestone or sandstone here. We all have a volcanic rock, basalt, right? Basaltic, basalt rock. Yeah, yep. basalt rock. Low in silicate, so it's very uh, mathic. Very, very pointy. Yes. Breaky. Um, but out in the ocean, there's all these reefs. And you probably remember that reefs are really important for building up limestone. So if you want to, you can imagine that in like hundreds of millions of years, when these islands and these mountains are all gone away and maybe the oceans have changed, Maybe one day those reefs will be some really good limestone and there'll be some cool caves in those uh, those uh, limestone uh, deposits. So uh, we're just looking at just a snapshot of what Hawaii is looking like right now, even though over time it's gonna change a lot. And there's an island out there. Oh no, it's West Maui. Uh, okay. West Maui Mountain. So we're coming down from 10,000 feet of elevation down to 7,000 feet. That's our campground, Osmers. No, let's take a right, just real quick, quick. And we're gonna show you an 
introduced pine forest. And so, eucalyptus forest and tr too. And too. The eucalyptus trees. It's called the alien forest because they're not supposed to be here. So everything we're driving by right now is the native Hawaiian subalpine shrubland. And to the right, Ranger Laurel can show you Haleakala, which is the name of the East Maui Mountain. Haleakala means house of the sun. Hale is house. Aka is of the, and la means sun. And so you can see it's a lot different here because we're starting to get some trees. There's this species over here on the left that's kind of like a droopy, sad Christmas tree. Maybe you can see that. It's called a Mexican weeping cedar, or sorry, Mexican weeping pine. So it's not supposed to be here. And all these trees were introduced in this part of the park to try to control soil erosion. And that did the trick, but now we have all these forests starting to crop up and all these trees that aren't supposed to be here. And there are some really neat eucalyptus trees in here though. And we'll hop out of the car real quick and show you their bark. Just real quick. Got a guy, AKA a dummy, standing in the road taking photos. There we go, snuck around him. Oh, looks like there's a ranger out here, maybe. There's a Hosmer's hike going on right now. Oh, well, you know what? There is no parking available. This is the campsite. This is the campsite. So we cannot show off the um, eucalyptus right now. But there's the alien forest. Ah. It's different than the native shrubland. All right. Well, All right. that's the highlights of our park. As Ranger Chris tries to throw this thing in reverse. Anything else you think we should share, Ranger Lowell? Um, if you come visit us, you can be a junior ranger at Haleakala National Park. Maybe we'll even send, send you a, a book. book. Yeah, so I don't know what to do here. This guy's just standing here. At the, oh man, Junior Ranger Rose is getting all this, huh? So, getting all this backup action. <laughs> well, I hope you like your video, Rose. We miss you so much. I hope Carlsbad is treating you well and your dad is still liking working uh, at the park. I'm wow. sure he is. Gosh, I'm sure he is too. I'm sure he is. That's. I'm just. I, it's great. Um, we took some photos that we're going to send with this video as well of some of the plants and things like that and the sunrise that we had or have up at the top of the mountain. So we'll send you that because that's a big everywhere. thing here, Rose. We got hundreds of people that drive up the mountain at 3 a.m. in the morning. What? They skip breakfast and everything to go see the sunrise and we got some pictures of it for you. Um, all right, but we miss you. And uh, love to your mom and your dad and everyone at Carlsbad. And uh, we'll uh, hopefully see you sometime soon, okay? Bye, Junior Ranger Rose. Aloha. Aloha. Hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. Today I'm going to show you the place I moved to. It's Padre Island National Seashore. And this is where I work. The Malachite Pavilion. Pretty neat, huh? Let's take a quick look around. Rose, check it out. I've gone up to the observation deck. You can see for miles and miles up here. Let's take a look.
I want to do. Let's head down to the water. We're walking to the beach. We're walking to the beach. Hi ho the dairy o we're walking to the beach. Ba 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 beach ba beach ba beach. See Rose, you can see right here, this is where big crab lives. Right Sleeping though. We'll have to check back later. You can see all his little crabby footprints. Sand dunes. Rose, I'm down here at the water. Better not get my shoes wet. Let's take a look. This foam is from the proteins in the water. I'm going to go right. That didn't stick. That's okay. Look, the first thing I found down here was a big weird shell. And one of my favorite things is that you get to keep the stuff you find. So I'm going to take this back and find out what it is. It's just so bright and sunny out. How could you not have fun at the beach? It's just the best thing ever. Rose, look! I'm down at the water. And there's all kinds of animals that live out there in the ocean. If I was to just start swimming off that way, I'd probably wind up in Florida or Cuba. Look at this. Oh, it's just a little piece, but that would have been pretty, huh? Hey Rose, look, it's our lucky day. I just found an operculum, and that's the foot of a snail. It's time to go inside, Rose. Sand dune. Well, Rose, we don't want to track sand into the inside, so I'm going to wash my feet off. That's better. This guy's name is Art, and that rhymes with smart. And that makes sense, because he knows a lot about little beasties and critters that live in the ocean. Let's talk to Art. Hi, Art. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a seed that floated in the ocean and came all the way to our beach. And they are so cool. Whoa. What's that, Art? What's that? What's this? Yeah. That is a snail egg case. Each one of those little things like that, each one of those little leaves has like 10 or 12 snail eggs in it. And when they hatch, they hatch into a snail that looks just like this, except it's only that big. And it grows up to be that big. Whoops, that happens grows up to be that big and it can actually grow up to get that big. That is a big snail. <gasps> Rose, thanks for watching my videos. Have a good night. Miss you. Bye.
Hey Rose, how are you? I'm at my new park all the way in, in North Carolina on Roanoke Island. I'm just out for a hike right now. I want to show you what, what this park is like. There are so many trees. Way more trees than Carlsbad. But one difference too, there are no rocks here. So there are no caves at all. It's all just lots and lots of sand and lots and lots of water. Hope you have a really good Christmas. Bye Rose. Hi Rose, Merry Christmas. Hi Rose, Merry Christmas. We hope you're doing well in Carlsbad. We're okay here in Washington State. I wanted to be like your dad, so I grew a beard. And Sonny wants to say hi. Maybe. Merry Christmas, Rose. Nighty night. Hi Rose, it's Ranger Katie. I'm not in uniform today because we had a staff Christmas party, holiday party. Anyways, I'm in Washington State, long ways from New Mexico, and I'm standing outside and check it out. I don't know if you can see, but it's snowing. And that building is part of Fort Spokane, where I work. That's actually my office and the visitor center. And Fort Spokane was a place where soldiers lived in the late 1800s to try to keep peace between the local Native Americans and the European settlers who were making their way west. And outside of the fort are my favorite trees. Ponderosa pine. And in the summertime, if you get up close to these ponderosa pine trees and you put your nose right up into the furrows there, ugh, it smells delicious. It smells like some people think butterscotch and others vanilla. I think it smells like vanilla. Anyways, it's a little different from Carlsbad Caverns above ground. I miss caves, but it's nice here too. And just wishing you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And give hugs to your parents for us. Okay, bye. Lupe, what's wrong? Oh, you miss Junior Ranger Rose? Well, I have good news for you. She's right there! Hi, Rose! Oh, good idea! Lupe wants me, Ranger Leah, to show you all about Guadalupe Mountains National Park. Are you ready? Let's go! Hey Rose, this is our office cat. Her name's McCatrick. She likes to poop and eat food. <laughs> hey, look what we found, Rose. This is a fossil of an ammonoid. It's 260 million years old. Do you know what an ammonoid looks like? Good job! Whew, I hope you had an awesome day exploring Guadalupe Mountains with me. Oh, hey, Lupe! Hey, what do you got there? Oh my gosh, it's a little stocking for you, Rose! That's awesome, thanks! 
Oh, good idea. Rose, we're gonna put your stocking with all of the other ranger stockings. Merry Christmas.